Hey everybody, I'm Michael, Alpha Foxtrot, Zero Foxtrot. I'm super excited to share with you my next ham radio project. I just had a delivery today and I am the brand new owner of a DX Commander Signature 9 antenna. This is a 4310 multiband resonant antenna. It is a vertical, self-supporting mast, so no guys needed antenna. And I am super excited to build this with you all. I got the parts today and I just had to share with you like how simple this is. I have built HF verticals before and it was tons of pieces. I'm super excited to build this thing. It came in a couple of pieces. One is this uh, ground mounted pole. I will bury about half of this into the yard and then the other half we will just slip the telescoping mast on top of it. There is of course the uh, DX Commander telescoping mast. I will say this thing is solid. This is like almost 30 feet of antenna mast just collapsed down into this thing. It's heavy. I think this will work really well, but I guess it has to be because it's kind of self-supporting and is meant to kind of flex and bend in the wind. And then there's two boxes. There's a box of the accessories, the stay up clamps, the bolts, washers, all the fork connectors, the shock cord and the heat shrink. The second box is the plate set. And these are the spreader plates that mount at various portions up the mast and it just keeps all of the antenna elements aligned and tensioned correctly. And then the only other piece for this antenna is two spools of Columns DX10 wire. So we will use this to make both the antenna elements uh, for each of the bands. And then with what's left, we will build the radial system for the ground radials. It is a ground mounted vertical, so it does need radials. But I've been doing a lot of research on this. It'd be interesting to see how this works in my yard because I'm gonna have to do some compromise a little bit on the antenna radials. But if what Column has shared on his YouTube channel, as long as you get some radios down, it's gonna work fine. And even if you did it perfectly versus almost nothing, you know, the best you're gonna see is a couple of dB difference. So that made me feel a lot better because I was really worried about the radial setup for an HF vertical. So I'm excited. So I hope you enjoy that along the trip. I'll have some videos probably as I'm building. I've got a lot of measuring, cutting, and soldering to get started on. So until next time, we'll say 73, and thanks for joining me on this project.